Steve Jones here with the Hardscape Channel. I've got with me today Walt Steele from Pine Hall Brick. Walt, good to be here. So here we are at the School for Advanced Segmental Paving. Um, usually we don't get that many people, um, you know, of, of management level mm -hmm. here at the school because it's really designed for basic uh, skills training for, for contractors. Can you tell me? Um, why you're here and why your company has, has made the decision sure. to have you here? Well, we found that the training has been excellent in the past, and everybody that has taken this come away with skills that they can use out in the field, whether it's talking to specifiers or going out on the job site and looking at whether it's a complaint or just any sort of issues that, that you might see where, you know, checking your edge restraints, sand loss, uh, even taking out pavers and you know looking at base materials and making sure that they were compacted uh, correctly and there's really no way to do it without some sort of hands-on training and background in the in the field and this class has has proven to give you the tools that is necessary when you're when you're out in the field and uh, to be able to make appropriate recommendations. Well, it was, uh, as I was taking pictures of you working uh, of the of the class working yesterday, you were hogging all the uh, the photo ops. With the, so you were you were deep in it yesterday, and I, I think that's laudable. The um, Pine Hall's been a kind of a, kind of is the leader in uh, in segmental clay brick paving, and uh, it's always been a great pleasure to work with your company and the people that come from there. They're all passionate. Uh, I remember you, your salespeople, uh, even some of the older guys are out there working in their loafers and digging holes. Right. And I, you got you got to love that. Mm -hmm. uh, great attitude, great people. It's always a pleasure to have have somebody from the company there. And um, what could you tell? You know, I mean, as you go out on these jobs and you talk to architects and engineers and you visit job sites, and unfortunately, most of the the reason you typically visit a job site is a problem. Correct. Yeah. Not because it's pretty and it works mm -hmm. fine. Um, how could this help? How could uh, skills training help our industry uh, with our contractors? I mean. It may be a loaded yeah. question, but help yourself. Well, I mean, I think the, the number one thing is the vast majority of complaints are not issues with the pavers themselves, whether they be Pine Hall or any other the clay manufacturers or any of the concrete manufacturers. Primarily, the complaints are poor installations, whether it's not getting enough uh, space in between the joints, which seems to be the problem that we come across the most. It's just people just jam the pavers up as tight as they can get them, and then later down the road they chip and then they call us and tell us our our pavers were defective when actually the installation was defective or in issues with base compaction and, and which causes sand loss in the future and skills training like this you know helps educate the contractors on the appropriate steps and measures that you need to take when installing any hardscape project whether it be a patio or you know even a bigger job and that's just so important because the number one thing is contractor education because if they're not out there doing the project right, it reflects poorly on the entire industry, not, not just yourself. And it, and it makes it hard for people to get jobs in the future, uh, just yourself and anyone else out there. And the, really the only way to grow your industry is to do a quality job with quality products and they have to work hand in hand. Well, Walt, thank you very much. Uh, I expect yeah. to work the heck out of you here sure. the rest of today and then tomorrow and send you home with some memories and hopefully no scars. Looking forward to it. <laughs> thank you. This is Steve Jones with the Hardscape Channel signing out.